let's look at another example of setup time, batch size, and capacity. Precision testing does fluid testing for several local hospitals. Consider their urine testing process. Each sample requires 12 seconds to test. But after 300 samples, the equipment must be recalibrated. No samples can be tested during the recalibration process, and calibration process takes 30 minutes. Here are the three questions. A. What is P-Test's maximum capacity to test urine samples in samples per hour? B. Suppose 2.5 urine samples need to be tested per minute. What is the smallest batch size in samples that ensures that the process is not supply constrained? Question C. P-Test also needs to test blood samples. There are two kinds of tests that can be done, a basic test and a complete test. Basic tests require 15 seconds per sample, whereas complete tests require 1.5 minutes per sample. After 100 tests, the equipment needs to be cleaned and recalibrated, which takes 20 minutes. Suppose P-Test runs the following cyclic schedule. 70 basic tests, 30 completed tests, recalibrate, and then repeat. With this schedule, how many basic tests can they complete per minute on average? All right, let's answer one question at a time. Let's collect information first. Here's what we know, unit testing or processing time is 12 seconds. Setup time or recalibration time is 30 minutes. Currently, the batch size is 300 tests or samples per batch. In question A, we want to find out about the maximum capacity in samples per hour. Let's do that in two steps. Step one, let's find out about the length of production cycle in hours. It's going to be equal to set of time in hours plus batch size times unit testing time. But be careful, over here, Testing time is in seconds, and one hour has 3,600 seconds. That's how we can convert that into number of hours. Return, and we get that the length of production cycle is 1.5 hours. To get to the maximum testing capacity, it's pretty easy. It's going to be equal to batch size divided by the length of production cycle and we get the answer 200 tests or samples per hour now let's look at question B we would like to find the smallest batch size for a given flow rate what is the given flow rate in question B it states 2.5 urine tests per minute. So the given flow rate will be equal to 2.5 samples per minute. We need to find the recommended batch size and we have a formula. It's going to be equal to flow rate times setup time 30 minutes divided by 1 minus flow rate times processing time. Once again, the processing time is in seconds. In this case, we are going to convert that into number of minutes. Return.
and the final answer is 150 samples per batch. Question C, we want to find out about the number of basic tests we can perform per minute. In question C, we have some new information. First, there are two different kinds of tests, basic one and complete one. Basic test time is 15 seconds per sample. Complete test time is 1.5 minutes per sample. Setup time is 20 minutes. In this case, the production cycle looks like this. 70 basic tests first, and then 30 complete tests, and then set up. So the batch size of basic tests is 70 samples per batch. The batch size of completed tests is 30 samples per test. To answer question C, let's find the new length of the production cycle. It's equal to setup time of 20 minutes plus production time or processing time of basic tests. 70 times 15 seconds per sample and we would like to convert that into minutes. Lastly, the production time or processing time for completed tests. We want to test 30 samples in one batch and each takes 1.5 minutes. Return. The length of production cycle in this case is 82.5 minutes. To get the basic test capacity, it will be equal to batch size of basic test 70 divided by length of production cycle 82.5 minutes. And we get that the basic test capacity is 0.84 or 0.85 samples per minute.